Greetings everyone and thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a historic and iconic watering hole placed off of East Allen Street out of the legendary Old West town of Tombstone, Arizona, that was actually recently under True West recognized as literally the best bar in the West. Rumored to harbor a range of supernatural phenomena tied to its past, are you sure you're ready to brave the history and hauntings of Big Nose Kate's saloon? Historically, the site now harboring this weathered bar would initially hold the Grand Hotel, which had opened its doors in 1880, and that, with its lavish furniture, thick, cushy carpeting, and array of costly artworks, was widely considered the finest hotel in the state. Through its years of operation, the Grand would accommodate some of Tombstone's most famous and infamous residents, including legendary lawman Wyatt Earp, his good friend and cohort Doc Holliday, and also to the Clanton gang that fell to their posse. Incidentally, for our Old West fans familiar with the ridiculously insane 32nd shootout, Ike Clanton and the two McLowry brothers actually checked into the Grand the night before the famous gunfight at the OK Corral on October 26th of 1881. Sadly, on May 25th of 1882, a great fire would sweep through Tombstone, and following the blaze, the Grand was discovered collapsed in on its own basement, with only seven stalwart arches still standing, and a handful of floor joists on its main level. Preceding the fire, the structure was quickly rebuilt. However, rather ironically, and once again in May, albeit of 1924 this time, this second Grand would also burn to the ground in a fire. Following a third reconstruction, this space would maintain its old adobe facade, which would actually act as a functional part of its structure, and would host a bar and restaurant moving forward. In 1982, this weathered establishment was acquired under Steve and Gloria Goldstein, who would reopen the site in 1985 as the Big Nose Kate Saloon that we all know and love today. Oh, and for those of you not brushed up on your tombstone history, Mary Catherine Horany Cummins, or affectionately Big Nose Kate, was a gambler, an outlaw, a working girl, and both common law wife and fierce companion to the gunfighter and prominent gambler Doc Holliday. Into the present, the Goldsteins, along with their daughter Susan Wallace, continue to head operations, with their saloon open seven days a week and offering a varied and delectable menu alongside live music and all manner of events. Over its lengthy existence and usage, this aged landmark has long been shrouded in tales of otherworldly phenomena, and both staff and visitors to its bounds have reported objects sighted moving on their own or even floating in midair, extreme and unnatural cold spots felt in adverse weather or within temperature-controlled rooms, and strange gusts of wind that pick up within sealed spaces. An unseen male presence has been known to pinch waitresses, pull their bows, and hide their pens. One more malevolent entity put what were described as invisible, clammy hands around one terrified employee's neck, and a spectral woman in fine 1880s attire with shoulder-length ringlets and a parasol, who it's believed might just be the ghost of Kate herself, has been observed roaming about and has also been spied watching performances from the balcony. Also reported across the saloon are the constant feelings of being watched or of being followed, disembodied voices and footsteps, encounters with shadowy manifestations, and a set of mannequins that were placed in the closed-off balcony have been known to move spontaneously, some say as they act as conduits for lingering souls. One unseen male presence, possibly that of a former bouncer or lawman, seems particularly protective of women, while the full-bodied apparition of a group of cowboys has been known to slip in amongst unsuspecting living in both the basement and first floor bars, and are fond of playing small pranks. One final, more famous legend originating from Big Nose Kate's saloon tells the premises is haunted by the spirit of a former janitor, recognized now as the Swamper. In life, the Swamper lived in his own special bedroom down in the deep dark of the hotel's basement, and from this space, he actually tunneled into the town's mine shafts, after which he amassed a wealth of poached silver. Today, the Swamper's gateway is still a prominent feature of the saloon, and those who have neared it or even who have entered the basement for that matter have told of a dark silhouette that lurks about that's even been captured in photographs who it's believed is the old thief's lingering spirit. Oh, and on a closing note, of all the stories and variations of surrounding this shadowed shaft, one minor detail remains murky at best, and that's whether or not the Swamper actually spent any of his silver, or if it's possible there's still a very real, very large, and exceedingly valuable treasure hidden somewhere about.
Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll catch you all next time, if something else doesn't first.